<laughs> we uh, we got our first glimpse this season of uh, the Merlin family this past week, and you seem like a proud papa. Seem like things were. Yeah. Is, is he happy with uh, how young Thea is progressing? Here? Um, I, I, I'm not. Well, he's. I guess he's. He's happy that he is in control of the situation. Um, how he. Uh, I don't. I'm. You know, not going to spoil anything that's coming up. But how he does control is pretty. Well, I'll say is pretty vicious. And uh, in the past, Malcolm has always used his his money, his power. His uh, uh, yeah, money and power to manipulate people, and the one thing that he n- was never able to grasp was the fact because he lost his wife. She was emotionally connected to changing the city. He lost uh, Tommy, who was emotionally connected to uh, uh, Laurel. Um, what else? What else? What else? He lost uh, um, uh, Moira mm-hmm. because Moira emotionally connected to her children and she sacrificed herself but so Malcolm has never been never been able to emotionally get to somebody so this is his I think his quest to emotionally manipulate people now rather than he still uses physicality but it's in, it's, a, it's a new twist in the way that I, I'm liking what they what they're doing because I think I've said it six times before they started writing it and they've now put it in. <laughs> no, kidding. Going off of that, uh, Steven told us that when your characters finally meet each other, um, there's not fighting so much. It's uh, what, what can you tell us about that? I've, I've always said, it, it's really interesting because when we, I, I mean, I'm going back here because when Andrew and I, Andrew, uh, you know, I'm talking about Andrew Kreisberg. We said, <laughs> only one of the producers and a writer. Uh, we sat and had lunch one afternoon and that was at that lunch where they were asking you know what? Because I'm a big fan of the genre. I'm a big fan of shows like this. I, you know, I've done sci-fi. Um, my sister and I write uh, fantasy, all that kind of stuff. So he, they were saying, you know, what, 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 what do you think we could? Where could we go with Malcolm? And I said, and, my, and it was my husband Scott. We were at lunch, and he said, why don't you make Thea his, you know, his daughter? And that was that. That was the 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 realm that we went off on. Um, Malcolm has always loved. Ollie like a son because you know again jumping back and I kind of tried to plant this in with these little nuances when I went to um, uh, Tommy's birthday party and he rejected me there I look at uh, Oliver throw him the present and gave him a wink and you know many people didn't get on catch on that but that was my way of connecting with Ollie the devastation when I re- revealed who he was so this time when we do meet you know Malcolm has something to say to him and it's not about fighting so and it's very interesting what he has to say and how he says it and I think it's also a bit of a surprise for Oliver that's all I'll say no. the best was at the end of that sequence when I ran away and they, I told the camera to the guys to keep rolling and after they yelled cut and I walked down the staircase and I I got up and I got down the staircase and I went shoot that poison out of there. <laughs> <laughs> And Steven, Steven just stood there. I had the cameras on him trying to keep a straight face. And I turned and went. <laughs> and then he just, he went, fuck Barrowman. God. <laughs> now you paint a sort of dark picture of the relationship with the, and sort of the manipulation there. And is there also sort of a benign side that you could, you know, and a paternal side that you could paint of it? Uh, I, c- I could, uh, da, 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 da. Um, I, I don't. I don't think we're there yet. The, 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 it's, it's the most, I've described it as the most dysfunctional, brutal father-daughter relationship. The type that you're going to watch when you watch it on television, you're going to look at it and you're going to go, I can't really, this is, this is too uncomfortable, but I really want to stay watching it because it's like a car crash. You know, that's exactly why you'll stay. And it is, it's going to be, but again, he cares, he loves her. He he really cares for her it's his daughter you know and he's he's kept this secret for a long time um and again manipulated somebody else with it but uh it's uh, <laughs> as you do um but yeah i think i think there there is a genuine love there and caring for her but he wants her to be strong he wants her to be to be able to stand on her own two feet the next episode features uh, flashbacks of the time that we missed of Malcolm and Thea 
what can you preview about what's in store there, especially what Malcolm's actions might be like outside of Thea that we might get to see? I, I, I'm going to be honest with you because, again, I know you guys want stuff, but I know there's things that we are not allowed to talk about. And all I'll say to you is please just watch it because it's one of those moments you are literally just going to go, your jaw will hit the floor, so please put a pillow down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's and that's one of those moments that it's uh, you know if I were in in my house, I just if I'd open the window and you know what are you listening to? The nation's jaw dropping. That's <laughs> that's literally what it's going to be like. So it's going to be exciting. It's going to be something is going to come at you as a shock and a surprise. That's all I'll say. How would you describe Malcolm's uh, emotional manipulation tactics? Would you say he's a fan of the backhanded compliments? Would you say? I think Malcolm is his in his he he is learning about emotional manipulation also because he's never been able to tell somebody really how he feels. Right? He's always done he's always done it in a a, a off the cuff backhanded way. Mm -hmm. So he's but he's always been honest. It's as brutal as it may be at times, he's always he's a. I think he's probably one of the most honest people on the show. That's my opinion, <laughs> because he tells it like it is. He tells the truth, and not everybody likes to 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 hear the truth. Um, but I think it, his his emotional ma manipulation now is is more straightforward, rather than it being. God, that sounds really terrible. It's rather than being to manipulate. No, it's straightforward in order to manipulate. It really is. Rather, but it, you know, some people would lie and tell fibs about stuff. But in a particular scene that is coming up, they're straightforward, down the line, truth, and the person is overwhelmed at what they're hearing. Does the world believe that Malcolm is dead, or was he I just don't know. missing? You tell me. What do you mean? Like, when Malcolm died at the end of season one, does yes, the there's world a lot, think he's gone? There, there was a lot of people who did, yeah, because yeah. somebody said to me, oh my God, it's like they recreated Captain Jack. They're just bringing him back to life. He, he's, <laughs> he doesn't die. And I, I said, no, if you actually go into, and this is, the, this is stuff that the audience doesn't know, but it's stuff that I know from the comic books and from uh, reading. But Nanda Parbat, is, uh, there's, there's properties on Nanda that can keep you youthful, that can help you uh, extend your life, all that kind of stuff. And so that's where these these uh, things that Malcolm has learned, and he says that, so I think he said it to Oliver, he said, I, I only ap appeared to be dead. You know, I wasn't dead, but I appeared to be dead because I know how to make my body shut down. So... Yeah, but a lot of people thought he was gone. So there was no gravestone for him or anything like that. I, I think there was actually. I think I'm not sure about that. I'm mean, you know the, the, I think there was a snippet where it was you saw something of his that he's gone. But yeah, people did think he was dead, which is great because when they say he's, he's I, when I you know go meet people and and uh, uh, there's fans they come up and say, oh I'm so sad that you died because people who are now watching it like on Netflix and didn't watch it on TV and they're going oh my god I'm sorry that you're dead and you're not in the show I'm like just fucking keep watching <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gone <laughs> well so those, speaking of those sort of tactics and uh, prolonging his life uh, we, we know that uh, the guy who might have probably taught him a lot of that is Raz al Ghul who's coming to the show is he? But <laughs> that's confirmed but we, uh, we also know your character's not, not in so good with Raz al Ghul in the league uh, so what might uh, the, the arrival of Roz cause for Malcolm. Well, Malcolm is Malcolm is <laughs> leading up to that. Malcolm is someone who is not stupid. He's he knows what's going on. Every he probably has people watching and his information being fed back to him. I think he's there is a sense of worry, concern, not fear. Um, however, there might be moments when you look at Malcolm and you might. Think see something and go oh my god he's at, he looks scared but is he really or is he just manipulating the situation I think he's concerned about Roz being here but he's not stupid he will try to figure a way to protect himself and hopefully those around him 
in season one, Malcolm had this big grand plan for Starling City. Does he have a, a similar kind of large machination for the season long arc this season? Do you want to die? Do I personally? Yeah, <laughs> I'd have to kill you. Okay. <laughs> um, I I honestly am going to tell you I don't know because I'm not one of those people who reads way ahead. Uh, I I can only learn what I have to learn in front of me. Um, I I don't like to do that because then. And this is what I call a wanky actor speak. Sorry. So what I'm doing on that day, I'm not thinking about what I'm doing four episodes down the line because it might affect what I'm doing on the day. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I honestly don't know what the arc is. Um, and I don't want to know because part of what's exciting for me in episodic television is every episode when I open the script and start reading it, I go, oh, I'm not in this. I got a week, two weeks in Palm Springs. Or I read it and go, oh, how the hell am I going to do this? And that's the challenge. So um, I'm kind of in the same shoes and boat that you guys are. I don't like to know. So it's a big surprise, which was when I was at the end of season one and I opened the page up and it said, he's dead. <laughs> Literally, I thought I was gone. And I called up Andrew and I said, is this for real? And he went, no, And because I, I, was, I was gutted. And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. And he went, no, no, no. He said, oh, I'm sorry, nobody told you. He said, you are coming back. It's just, we did. I'm like, thank fuck for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, along those lines, if you don't know what's coming up for the character, yes. how much do you feel like you know about sort of the, the gaps that we haven't seen beyond what has been actually on the show? Like, what have we missed? The gaps have been discussed. The gaps are, uh, again, it's things that are discussed so it can help you fill in yourself with what it is. But some of them are revealed and some of them aren't because, you know, obviously this show, we do a lot of flashbacks. And that is uh, one thing that as you know, is coming up in the next episode, the flashbacks. So perhaps that's how we're going to tell some of that other story uh, in flashbacks in the future. That's my guess. But only sort of the bits and pieces will actually be shown on the show. Well, I think bits and pieces that are going to be interesting to the audience because, you know, there's probably bits and pieces that... I mean, again, personally, as a fan of the show and... and, and you know, watching it, and I would like to see what has what Malcolm did while he was gone, and you know, for that, which would be season two, go back and find out what he was doing, what he was what he was dealing with at that time. You know, I'd like to think he went over to visit the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in the, the door. <laughs> That's a joke. They're going, no. Oh! <laughs> That's a joke. Um, funnily enough, though, I did. I did. I was slipping through a. Uh, one of the conventions, I was flipping through a bunch of comic books because I, I I collect comic books, and I just decided I'll go look at the Flash and see what there is. And I'm flipping, 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 and I found a cover of, with Malcolm Merlin on it in the Flash. So I'm going to send it to them <laughs> <laughs> and just just like send a picture and go just in case. <laughs> Would really like it <laughs> because he's hot. Anyway. Um, <laughs> We see that um, we've already started to see that Thea changes a lot from her time with her father. Does he change at all because of his time with her, even in little ways? I think you'll see more, and this is weird to say with uh, Malcolm, you will see, and I, it's kind of going back a lot, I'm sorry to do that, but you will see more honesty. But I have to put the word before it, brutal honesty again, because that's just the way it is. But that's probably what you'll see. And, and when he says it, you'll see more... That's what I'm looking for. It's not... Com not com it's m more heart. i got to chill just saying that with mouth of heart. You know, but you know, more heart behind it. Because um, he's, he's... But that's what's interesting. Is he really... Does he really mean it? Is it... Is it twisting or does he really mean it and which is the challenge for me to get that across but I think he really means it that's my personal thing that's there's nothing that the, anyone has said producers there's a new power player um, in town Ray Palmer do you have any interactions with him do you want to have interactions with him <laughs> that is a leading question <laughs> <laughs> and you went down the route I was going to <laughs> 
Um, I, I don't know if I have interactions with them yet, but I definitely would. <laughs> No, I mean that in all seriousness. You guys got to get used to me. I don't, I don't hold back. Um, uh, no, I think I think it would be great to see, because we don't really know. I mean, obviously, you know, he's got a plan himself, but how that what that plan is, we don't know. Um, will it affect Malcolm? I don't know. But anything that uh, stands in the way of Malcolm's uh, objective, obviously, he will have to deal with it. And I would like to see, yeah. It would be great to do some scenes with them, of course. Well, Ray also wanted to improve Star Starling City, kind of like Malcolm did a few years ago. As does Oliver. And do you think, you know, does Malcolm still want the city to be better, you know, in memory of his wife? And Well, I think, Mal yeah, Malcolm was all, Malcolm had, I get, is that, let me just think here. Malcolm continually says that he loves Starling City, but who knows? If uh, if his plans are big, that big, or if they're just focused on Thea and Oliver, we don't. Again, it's something that uh, I don't want to speculate on. So yes. we'll. Last yes. So we'll see what I mean. What Ray's plans are. We see that um, Merlin is a little bit of a controlling dad. Always. Uh, what would his uh, reaction to Roy be, knowing that they have a history? Are we going to see any of those father-son-in-law talks? <laughs> <laughs> talks? <laughs> um, I'd like to. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that. Um, I think that he would... I. Well, he doesn't know there's someone else. He doesn't know there's another, you know, arrow out there if that makes sense yeah what do you know what i mean but we um we just have yeah we'll have to wait and see i don't think i think he'd be very as oliver was it's very funny it's very interesting to me that you have malcolm and you have ollie and then in a way they are parallels mm -hmm. of each other hate you know dislike each other but respect each other incredibly and uh you know obviously malcolm but you know so where would roy fit in in that because Ali in the beginning didn't like him. Now trusts him, takes you know, takes care of him. They're they're a team, but um, will that get in the way? I really hate doing this to you guys. You know what I mean? Because so, the the stuff that we do know, you just we're as a fan, we're excited about it. We want to talk about it, but we we just don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil it for the viewer or for you guys. Is That's there the anything most important at all thing. you could hint about the episode you're filming? I know you can't say much. You want to know the truth? We were just f wrapping up 309, mm -hmm. and I have a sequence, uh, one sequence left tonight to film in that, and that's at midnight I'm doing it. I don't know if you guys will be around. You'll probably be well asleep. We're going to be at the or, Flash. Gonna be at You're going to be at the Flash. Well, uh -huh. fuck off. <laughs> 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 we have to tell them to have you come on the show. But not you do it. No, please do. I love you. I love your hat's fabulous. <laughs> um, I, the, the, the one thing... Um, that uh, I, three, we're doing 310 next. I haven't read it yet. I don't read them till I'm done with, with the one, but um, all I'll say to give you a little hint, it's going to be very cold, what we're doing tonight. And wet. On a mountain? <laughs> and high up. <laughs> Are you going to the mountain? No, but Stephen <laughs> mentioned the mountain. He mentioned it already, so I can't get in trouble for it. <laughs> no, I'm no, yeah, I've, I'm, yeah, I'm on a mountain too. <laughs> there you go. There's a little snippet. Are you climbing together? I'm, I'm not telling you anymore, though. You shut up, then. And your hat's great. <laughs> you all look fabulous. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.